Hi, welcome to this short session on how to deploy Adobe Reader to your Windows 10 estate using VMware's Workspace ONE UEM platform, its unified endpoint management. Now, you can see here, I've already opened a console to Workspace ONE unified endpoint management. Um, you can see here that I've got a device registered already, and that's the one that's running in the background in VMware Workstation. It's just a Windows 10 machine that's been enrolled. Now, the first thing that we need to do before we go about trying to deploy Adobe Reader is we have to get hold of a tool called the Adobe Customization Wizard DC. Now, this is a download that's freely available from Adobe. When you download this and go to File, Open Package, it will ask you for the location of the Adobe package that you want to customize. We're going to choose the Adobe Reader. As soon as you select that, it will bring back all the possible customization options for that package. Things like changing the installation path, suppressing the EULA, etc. And you can customize whichever ones you want, including things like whether you want to make it the default PDF viewer, for example. When you've finished that, do file save as and give it a name. I've already done this, so I'm just going to jump across to here. And you can see that I've downloaded the Adobe Reader DC. And this is the contents of what I downloaded. And I've saved the output from the customization wizard into this folder. So this is called Adobe Reader DC.MST. Then all you need to do is highlight everything in that folder and send it to a compressed file. Now I've already done that. So I'm going to uh, move over to the UEM console. I'm going to go to apps and books. And I'm going to add an application and I'm going to select upload. Now here I need to choose where the file is that I want to upload. This is the, um, the compressed file which is here and I'm going to set that uploading. This will take a few minutes so I'll speed this up in the video edit and we'll return shortly. Okay, now that that installation's finished, we're going to carry on. We're not going to make this a dependency app. We're just going to click continue. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a slightly better name. We're just going to call it Adobe Reader DC. It, you can notice on the grayed out fields, it's pulled some information from the MSI, but we're going to change it to 64 bit. We're going to leave the rest of this information because it's not mandatory. Under files, we need to set what we want the uninstall script to be. I've got some of these cut and paste into Notepad. So the uninstall command is going to be an MSI exec command with a QN switch, which makes it silent to the user. And then we're going to uninstall using the Acrobat read MSI. Moving on to deployment options, we are able to set here what the installation requirements are if we want to define any. And I'm also going to copy and paste the command for the install. Now this is an MSI exec command again with a QN switch for a silent install. We're pointing it, pointing it at the installer, which is acrobatread.msi, and then we're applying the transform, which we created in the customization tool, which is just a, uh, acrobatreaderdc.mst. We're going to give this admin privileges and we're going to install it in the context of the device. Um, the other thing we need to do is we need to define um, when to call the installation complete. So I'm going to say that it's complete when it finds that this particular file exists, which is the Acrobat Reader uh, .exe. Now, once we've done that, the only other thing we need to do is find the Acrobat image um, that we're going to use as the icon. And we're just going to drop that onto there. Then we're going to click Save and Assign. Uh, we're going to add an assignment and in this particular example i'm just going to assign it to the whole of the windows 10 desktop group i'm going to set the delivery method to auto and i'm going to click add it should confirm that in the next window which it has and then in the next window it'll show me the devices that that's going to be pushed to and the second one is the one that i'm using so that is now created it's now set to be pushed out. I'm just going to open Task Manager on here so we can see what's going on. 
and with a bit of luck we should start to see some download activity and you can see it started already so this is downloading the package that we uploaded this is pulling it down to the windows machine once this downloads finished we should see a spike in the cpu which is when it will start kicking off that installation command that we specified in the package So it looks as if the uh, download's finished now. And if you look at the CPU in Task Manager, we can see that there's a CPU spike, which is when the installation's kicking off. And we should be able to see that in the processes as well. You can see straight away, that right at the top, there's a Windows installer running. So if we just keep an eye on this CPU activity for a little while, there we go. Just within a few seconds, Adobe Reader's actually being deployed and it's appeared on the desktop. So we can come down to the start menu and we can check that the items have been populated correctly in here. We can see it's under recently added. We can see it's under A and, you know, we can execute it from here just to check it runs OK. And there you go. We can see it's running fine. So I hope you found this video useful and I uh, hope to see you again soon.